first things first, it's so cold today. <laughs> It's like five degrees. I can't live with this. To stream, I have to have the heater off, right? Because you'd hear it humming in the background if it was on. But it's so cold. <laughs> I've shut the door. I've turned the heater on for like half an hour. And now I've turned it off just before I'm muting. And it's fine now. But the cold is coming. <laughs> the winter is coming. <laughs> you don't understand. It's coming. <laughs> I think maybe like when I go on like break, I'll just like shut the door and I'll turn the heater on again to heat the room up again. <laughs> it's freezing. Winter is coming. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrator. Oh, the hydrate of the cold, cold water. How could you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, we have reached the end of this journey, my friends. We're at the end of Alan Wake 2. Pretty sure we're at the end. We finished Sagas. Sagas still goes on, but it has to like, like, hers and Alan's has to sync up, and then her story will continue, you know what I mean? Where like, they both happen, like, they both coincide, and then the end game happens. I, I think we can reach that today. Cause you got Alan, who I think has one more level of his own to do in a theater. And then it's end game, I think. I wanna uh, Friday is Night Springs like day. I wanna finish this. So the whole stream is just Night Springs stuff. So yeah, it turns out no Whammington, no Whammington of the Boppington of the of the shoe bopping of the bops today. <laughs> he messaged me at 7.30 and he's like, I'm so sorry, because something came up at work. I'll I'll be really late. <laughs> He goes, go ahead with your alternate idea, and it's like, oh, poor guy. <laughs> so, Outlast most likely will happen tomorrow now. Which is fine, because we gotta do this today. We gotta hang out with Mr. Alan Shakenbake instead of Piggy, whatever his name was. Chris? The guy? The big, the big fella that was in the water? <laughs> you got to see a doctor, and it's so cold. When I woke up this morning, this cold feels like, it's a very specific feeling. You know like when you're a kid and you have to wake up at like 8 o'clock to go to school at 9 and it's really icy cold because of how early it is? That's what this kind of cold reminds me of, reminds me of is how cold that used to feel. <laughs> it's a very similar kind of feeling. I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm getting flashbacks to primary school. <laughs> it's hitting me. It's like, oh. <laughs> poor pa- poor pa <laughs> How do you even remember that word? Poor papito culo. <laughs> poor, poor papito culo. <laughs> poor fella, poor fella. He told me like, that there was a little strand of hope where he said uh, he might get off work like just beforehand. And he'll tell me, he'll message me if he does. But no. No, no Whammington today. Sad. Oh, it's Papa, 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 I think it's the last one. Papi Sito with an I. I think, I think that's how it is. I think like it's, it's Papi, Papi Sito. I think that's right. But yeah, that's where we're at today. It's cold. Alan Wake 2 ending. No wham, which means no outlast. And I you can't see, but I just got a notification for Tony Hawk going on sale. <laughs> and it's like, ooh, Mr. Mr. Hawk. I wonder if that's a good game to stream. Or if that's more of like a, like an open world thing. I've never played a Tony Hawk game. The closest I've come is the Disney skating game. That's on like Xbox. <laughs> and that has a bunch of licensed music in it. Clippy would be here. If she's if she arrives today, I'll ask her. Uh, is Tony Hawk a good game to stream? Cause we're gonna need something after Alan Wake Two is done. We're gonna we're gonna need something else. And welcome, ghost. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing today? It's cold today for me. <laughs> I see a lot of like Americans on like Twitter posting about how hot it is, and it's like, please, just a speck of that heat, give it here. 
It's like Americans, and there was like an article written on uh, like British people suffering because it was like 26 degrees. And I would laugh at the, at the British people, but from what I understand, their houses are built to keep in heat, so they're basically living in little heat boxes over there. <laughs> Metroid Prime 4. That's what I was hoping for. If Wham was coming along today for stream, I was going to be like, so what are your intense thoughts and feelings about Metroid Prime 4's trailer? You know, like to prolong, you know, starting Outlast again. I was just going to be like, what do you think about Metroid Prime 4? In fact, give all of your opinions about the entire Metroid series just right now. <laughs> so we don't have to do anything else. It becomes like a podcast. We all need to we all need to meet in the middle. If we put all the weather together, we'll come up with the ideal weather. <laughs> it's summer here and I'm doing fine making dinner right now. Oh nice. What kind of dinner? The Brits are used to cold weather. I just got another notification of this item on your wish list is now on sale, and it's Tony Hawk again. <laughs> I'm haunted by Tony Hawk. Get him out of here. <laughs> what if we yoinked the hot weather and brought it here? I won't be opposed to it. I feel like we we didn't have a lot of hot weather last uh, year. You know? You know how they go, oh, Australia is hot, Australia is this, Australia is that. Well, I think we only hit like three days in like one year that was over 40 degrees. And that ain't right. We need more hot weather. I'm sick of this cold weather. <laughs> Making homemade lasagna. <gasps> Are you making the lasagna sheets yourself, or do you like buy them in in the packets? <laughs> the packet lasagna sheets look like bits of cheese to me. <laughs> really large square cheese. We would maybe create a tornado if we input the right hacks no no we won't i watched a video yesterday about a devastating cyclone hurricane they're basically the same thing hurricane uh hitting this was like years ago but like hitting oh god what was the, it was like a coast somewhere what was i want to say bangladesh but i don't, I don't remember might have been bangladesh it's with b um and it freaked me out. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> Living near a coast would be so nice, but I couldn't do it. Because I'll just think, what if one day the water just goes up? <laughs> I can't swim. Nah. -uh. Making it myself. My Italian ex would scream at me for getting the store-bought ones to make lasagna. <laughs> Oh, the store-bought ones, like, they're fine. Like, like, it's not cheating or anything. It's fine. <laughs> You made lasagna once for your potluck birthday last year, and it took <laughs> it took you forever. Yeah, that's why Italians or all the grandmamas and things. That's why when they cook, it takes all day, man. <laughs> they take they make it everything from scratch. They're like wizards. They're just making it right there. They don't buy nothing store bought. Italian Italian store bought like a lasagna sheet or or whatever, like lasagna pasta, whatever. They get so mad. <laughs> the store bought ones are pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's Italian superiority complex. I can say that because I'm Italian, see? It's Italian superiority complex. <laughs> we all got it. <laughs> uh, anyway. Do you want to get to Alan Wake 2? I do want to finish it. I kind of worried. I'm kind of worried. I'm going to get close to finishing it. But then, like, right at the end... It's just like not gonna be enough time like it'll reach four hours and I'll be like oh, I'm tired I can't continue but the end will be right there you know what I mean I want it to be contained in this stream the whole end bit but I cannot remember for the life of me how long the end game part goes for I've played it twice man and I cannot remember <laughs> let us let let us over here masks COVID, oh my god. <laughs> actually, I thought this was funny, actually. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where, where's the controller? I lost it. <laughs> I have two copies of Oddboard Abe's Exodus. They added trophy support for Abe's Exodus, and I thought, oh, that's nice. I would love to play this, like, with trophies. I've never done it before. But I looked here, and I'm like, huh. 
where's the trophy list? It doesn't have it. It turns out they only put the trophy list up for the PS4 version <laughs> of Abe's Exodus and not the PS5 version. I couldn't begin to tell you why. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, so I had to re-download the... this one. I don't know. I don't get it. Old World Inhabitants is so weird, man. Anyway. Alan. There he is. Our sad cat of a man. Now I got a notification on my phone. Tony Hawk. This item on your wish list is on sale. Man, I know. <laughs> I've been new. Ba, ba, ba. Does it keep the outfits? Wait. Oh, there we go. I had to think about it for a second. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't make a lick of difference, and you barely see it in the game anyway, but I want I want my shotguns to have the funny patterns on them. <laughs> if they don't, the gameplay will be worse. Okay. Also, I'm vaguely still kind of worried about the, um... Thanks, Kate. <laughs> I'm still kind of worried about the, uh... Oh! <gasps> this! <laughs> this precise thing! Okay, so... If I hit continue, it's fine, right? This happened last stream. We hit continue, and the game just proceeded as normal. If we hit continue again... We're okay, right? <laughs> Please be fine, please be fine. Please. I'm cringing. I'm like squinting so I can't see the screen. We fine? We're okay, okay. Oh my god. I appreciate any and all updates for games, but that scares me. Why, why does that happen? <laughs> it doesn't do anything, but like, why does it happen? Okay, we in it now, boys. We're in the end game now. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Zane would know where to find one. Hold on, how much shit do I have? Loads, okay. Look for Zane at the hotel. I hope the volume is okay, too. Phone? No? Wait, I thought Zane would call. Zane, Pookie. There we go. Don't you don't see me? Goodbye. <laughs> I have no idea if turning off the flashlight even helps me. Where does it want me to go? It said Zane. I thought the phone would ring. Volume scenes are right. Thank you. What oh, game? Wait, this will help. What's this say? Zoom. Zoom in. Scratch wrote return. He has it. Stop him. Ah. <laughs> uh... And Alice's photos in the basement and the clicker. The pictures had power, like words had power. This doesn't help me at all. Uh... I'm trying to remember where to go. He said Zane will know where the next murder site is, and I thought the phone would ring. Apo! <laughs> welcome, welcome! I hope today is doing alright for you. I thought this would ring. No? I 
let's see. There's, there's light over here. I'm gonna move this way. There was no longer any sign of Casey in the alley. Oh, he comments. Things keep changing, gaining momentum, moving towards some obscured escalation. I think this is the right way. <laughs> I'm lost, god damn it. Or am I supposed to go this way? I'm so confused. <laughs> I really do feel like I am Alan Wake right now. I feel like I truly embody a sad cat of a man who's completely lost. <laughs> No, I have the light. I don't. I don't want to put it back. Susan, drink your spooder drink. I'm gonna hold one hand on the run button, and I'm gonna drink while doing it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Susan. Why I bonk again? <laughs> I'm getting bonked a lot recently. Why? I've done nothing to deserve this. Excuse me, excuse me, sirs. Oh god, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, he comments, she says, pretending like this isn't a third time. No, but I've never gone over there before at this point in the game to know that he says that. Hey, LZ, welcome! Welcome back to Alan Shake and Bake. I'm gonna keep saying that joke. <laughs> God, which way do I need to go? You know what? I'm so worried that the uh, corruption of the save file thing that's showed up like twice now is gonna permanently, whoops, is gonna permanently break something. <laughs> ah! I thought this could be the right way. They're attacking me. Is this a sign that this is right? Yeah, this is correct. the shit out of you! <laughs> God damn it! Oh my god! Is it gonna say this every time it has to reload something? We could not restore your save program- oh for God's sake. Is it fine? Every time it says that, stop saying that! <laughs> is that canonical? Is that what happens to Alan when he dies? <laughs> he dies and he gets a save error? Alan Wake? More like Alan Break. Alan Wake? More like Alan Rake. Alan Wake? More like Alan Take? <laughs> Do you think Alan comes up with like these puns in his head too? Like he's like, Alan wake, more like Alan take these pills off the ground. <laughs> I left early yesterday, how was Spire uh, JP? It was really good. I would probably like, maybe not on stream because I've played Spire 1 on stream before and probably be boring to see again, but I wouldn't be opposed like in my own time finishing it like, on my own. Finding out that you unlock proper, like, Spyro run speed and, spy and like, like, proper charge speed by 100% in the game makes me so curious. <laughs> but no, it's very interesting. They made Spyro so cute. It's strange. Alan Wake, he's an Alan Snake. <laughs> I'm not Wake, you are mistaken. I'm Keanu Reeves. Nuh uh. On my way to the Game Awards 
to create a very memorable Mei Mei. Leave me alone. I want to read the signs on the walls, but I'm getting stalked. Oh, oh no. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? risk of corrupting the save. Fuck off. Oh, No steering, no words, no control. Like the video game control. Alan Wake, more like sticking at your gap and a razzler. You're so bow bow. You're so bimu tags. I just wanna be your shiori. If I had the collab with Wham today, I would have instantly sung that to him the second he rolled up in the, in the VC. <laughs> just annoy him the second he's here. Make him regret coming over here. <laughs> Anything here? Anything here? No? Okay. Bye. The Dark Place, Poet Cinema. Uten U. Nightless Night, a Thomas Zane film. <gasps> We're going to the movies, chat. Come on. Wait. Am I gonna get attacked? I hear sounds of people. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die. Like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. <laughs> You're hearing noises of like the enemy moving around? Hello? Unless it's through the wall and I'm fine. Wait, he needs a shower. He's not washed in 13 years. Alright, let me turn up the game a teeny tiny. There we go. The best game about Neo from The Matrix. Neo taking the red pill to stay wake. <laughs> I'm about to say some blasphemy right now. I've never seen The Matrix. Ooh. Do you want photographs? No. <gasps> I need the ticket! Wait. I need a ticket for the cinema. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a rootin' tootin' minute. How am I supposed to get that ticket? I'm trying to remember. I've played this twice. How do I get that ticket? I'm really worried, and I'm going to say it again, that these um, instances where I die or where I have to reload a save and it says save corrupted, press continue and blah, 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 you know, that whole thing. And I press continue and it's fine. But I'm wondering, could it make it so... I don't know. Could it make it so the game doesn't load correctly if you know what i mean like if an event has to load like i'm pretty sure <laughs> i feel like zane is supposed to call on the phone again to give me the tickets but he didn't and i'm worried that the fucked up save is kind of fucking up the loading of the stuff on <laughs> shoo
Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna look around. Maybe I missed something somewhere. Haha, <laughs> you people can't even move. What dorks. Same, never seen it before. If someone who's seen all of them would recommend, very meta. I feel like it would freak me out almost, you know? I think it's fine, but I uh, know. Mm. I feel like this phone is supposed to ring, and it just hasn't. Hang on. I need to check, how am I supposed to get the theatre tickets, just so I know. Alan Wake 2. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Alan Wake 2, where do I get the ticket for Poet Cinema? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, thank God. Wait, wait, no. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I'm misremembering. Thank God. My shitty memory. Okay, wait, wait. I missed doing something else first, and now we're fine. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it scared the shit out of me. I need to go back to the hotel. That's why he said, oh, Zane would know where to go next. Wait. Wait, ah! <laughs> There's a memory thing. I want to see it. Nah! I want to look at the thing. <laughs> let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. Today's room, 665, was upstairs. <laughs> He's so calm. <laughs> Getting brutally attacked, thrown on the floor. Zane's room was through the elevator upstairs. There you go, take some of this. Oh, it's so calm in here. You know, I go to the hospital a lot, you know. A lot of elevators. Huh? You found that episode of Night Springs. This is optional content. Huh? What? Wait. Is this DLC? Wait, I don't want to do that now. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I thought this was through the menu. I don't want to do this now. I want to do it later, when the game's done. No. <laughs> I will do this later. Wait. Uh, I need, like, a save point. I want to save in a different location in case i need to access it through here i want to save in a different save slot but yeah i go to a lot of hospitals a lot of elevators you know none of them have elevator music could you believe it play me something told me zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time <laughs> yeah that's a really happy face <laughs> accidentally stumbling upon the dlc <laughs> I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head. Scratch wrote return, not me. He's Monka Essen right now. Liar. Look at his face. You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To 
get me the hell out of here. And he was magnificent. A visionary. I mean, it was art. Then, when he finished, he took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out. Before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema where my film Nightless Night is playing. Oh, he's tweaking. Ooh. I told you not to try anything. <laughs> That's one problem dealt with. Doing like teleportation powers? <laughs> Wait, it's still going. Oh mercy! Thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. That is drama. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's like Alan has like, you know, the writing powers. What the fuck? <laughs> I had a million questions about Zane, but I had more pressing concerns. And Zane is like, like he can teleport or use like, like film powers. <laughs> uh, the whole sequence is so good. Every time, every cutscene with Zane is so good. <laughs> He's just like a little freak. Zane's film, Initiation, Initi eh, Initiation. There we go. Zane had given Eight. me a ticket to the movie theater. Not Only now. <laughs> the next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. I think I go this way, hold on. Oh my God, that's so, I love how every time someone mentions like, you know, either Alan's or scratches writing in the dark place they always go the writing is so amazing it's so immersive it's da 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 da, da. because alan and scratch are te technically the same person right but in the first game <laughs> there were people just going to his face your writing sucks <laughs> i think because this is his own head and it's powered by like his own thoughts and things he himself thinks his own writing is just incredible <laughs> That was Thomas Zane. I don't know why, but I assumed he was older. I feel like he was older in the first game. They kind of, like, retroactively changed him to look like Alan. Isn't that so cool? Like, they're played by the same person, but you wouldn't think it. The acting is so different between the two, and they look so different, you wouldn't think that they're the same actor. It's so neat. <laughs> and hi, Mizu, hi. Okay, dude, we get it. You're in love with Scratch. Is Alan's wife no longer his wife? 20 years, right? She definitely moved on. 13 years. And who, who's to say? Who knows? And hi, Remy! Universe manipulation? I don't know. I've never seen any Alan a week. Okay, so Alan has the power to write stuff and it comes true. Zane, it's a bit more vague. I think, I'm pretty, I think Zane is, you would call it film powers, even though I don't know what teleportation has to do with films. <laughs> You know, all directors, they can just teleport around. What's his name? George Lucas. He, he just zips around every, everywhere. Has anyone ever seen, wait, has anyone seen that video of, like, someone filming a documentary about whatever the hell? And George Lucas is just in the background. 
He's just walking along. Has anyone else seen that video? And very clearly the cameraman notices him because the camera starts to pan over to where he's walking and then suddenly go back to the do documentary guy that's talking. <laughs> it's so funny, it's like catching Sasquatch. Okay, now I go to the theater. I could see the searchlight beams that had I chosen to pursue the cult. <laughs> no more talking, or Alan. <laughs> chosen me for some unknowable purpose. To be a demon. To sort the clues based on my interpretation. To change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. Okay, to make it clear for people who don't know Alan Waite, that is Alex Casey, who is a character that Alan has written about in his books. Yeah, but there's also a real life that's not in the dark place, Alex Casey, that looks and sounds like the book Alex Casey. And I feel like from my interpretation. To me, it kind of is vague if they're supposed to be the same person or not. So there you go. <laughs> I'd be surprised if she stuck around. She went off and she married Scratch. The end. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Ad break. No! Oh, that's fine anyway. People. Pe People who are in the ad can't hear me, but we're not really doing anything important. We're just running back to the theater that we already went to because I fucked up. <laughs> Screw this heat wave I'm in. God damn it, I want a heat wave. It's so cold over here. <laughs> the heat, I can survive the heat. The cold, I hate it. We've already opened everything here. <laughs> Give, give the Canadian the cold. <laughs> oh, you would thrive in this cold. It's like five degrees today. It's terrible. Last night it was like negative four. I couldn't stand it. Can I get in here? It's got the yellow tape. Can I get in here? Was there a door? Look, I can see- I can see your tootsies! <laughs> you got Bernie's tootsies off. <laughs> Get him! Oh! Take- take that knee! Is there a guy behind me? There was a guy behind me. I can't go in here? No! Ah! <laughs> I can't wait to put down I'm trying. Let me waste my flashlight, stupid. There you go, deserved. Wait, I, I want to get in here. The sheriff man is in here. Oh, wait. Heat wave sucks. <laughs> you prefer the cold compared to the heat? You like this weather? Oh, now I can get through. Because the door was blocked. Ah! Just every, like, <laughs> every person that's living more in the north areas are just like, Man, I hate this heat wave, and I'm just, I'm fucking freezing, dude. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Normally when I stream... Out, bye. <laughs> 
Normally when I stream, Laimu, it gets like warm in this room. I think because of like the screen being on consoles and stuff. It has not happened. Is bro okay? <laughs> hey Alan. Hi. It's good to see another sane face. You've got DLC. Not sure how sane I'm feeling. You should be more be careful. careful out there, Tim. If you see me, make sure it's really me. Not some psycho wearing my face. Sounds like you've been having a rough go. I've been there. The missing time. The aliens. The what now? <laughs> Is that the DLC? <laughs> missing time. It's the same thing I've been saying. The dreams. Sometimes I wake up in a completely different place missing entire days. I have no idea what happened. But I'm trying to find out. Things always get better if you just keep moving forward, Alan. Yeah, but aliens? <laughs> aliens, though? Wait. What's this about aliens? Oh, uh, I was just convinced that everything going on with me was because of aliens. Abductions, signals beamed into my head, that kind of thing. Now I know it's been Door all along. He's spoiling his own DLC. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> I haven't ruled out him being an alien, though. <laughs> I hope it comes out that Door is actually just an alien and that's all this is. There's just aliens. Okay, more ramblings. Uh, the alien dreams, aliens, UFOs. Abducted? Oh, you read this already. Or are you crazy and have dreams of RPG dice? Uh-oh. <laughs> D&D players? It got to 93 uh, Fahrenheit today and it was really humid. High 30s and low 40s heat can... That is completely manageable. Even high 20s. <laughs> Cake built different. Cake built worse. <laughs> uh Door went missing 1988 aged has not aged longevity not human alien magic uncle frank would have known more but he's dead not his real name hidden meaning i mean his name is like wallin door which is like it sounds like wall and door <laughs> We shall find out more in your DLC, my friend. Wait. I didn't see. Did he have supplies? Do you have stuff? Why do you have nothing? I need bullets, man. High 30s is manageable. Are you insane? High 30s is manageable completely. Give me negative 40 and take that every day other than, <laughs> than 40 C. <laughs> you want it to be snowing outside. Please enjoy the film, sir. I want to see who said that. I reckon that's got to be such a chill... T uh, t a ch oh my god, a chill job being like the guy that sits in here. And just hands out tickets and things. The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. Hard boiled and hung over, Hard Casey, an Alex Case film based on the novels by Alan Wake. There are no happy endings. Final Casey. It's a cold day in hell. <laughs> cold Casey. <laughs> it's just Max Payne, but if they were movies. The lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Get ourselves some snacks. <laughs> you need help. Good luck. That's nice. Ooh. Thanks, Kate. What are we getting? Bullets, 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 bullets. Yeah! <gasps> and some duct tape that he doesn't want to pick up. Yeah! It's a free freezer. 
You know, I hate the cold now. I, I said I always wanted to see, like, snow. Now I'm thinking, no, I think I'd hate it, actually. <laughs> I think I'd hate the snow. Too cold. Oh, <gasps> pizza! Nazarino's Pizzeria! <laughs> Anyone see the direct yesterday? They got Mario and, and Mario. <laughs> no, Metroid Prime 4 looks really cool. I haven't played any Metroid Prime game. I still need to. My god. Ooh. I was watching the direct with my mum. And she said that they have like that new Mario Party trailer, right? And she said, does anyone even buy this crap? <laughs> She hates Mario. She hates this little man. <laughs> and I told her, I was like, I'm pretty sure actually Mario Party is one of like the best selling games on the Switch, actually. I think Mario Kart's like the number one best selling. I think Mario Party does well. Write stop down. writing at some point. Stop writing. Stop. Stop writing. Starting now. Uh, let's see. Shoebox. Uh, nah. Wait. I feel like that's important. There we go. I've completely forgot I even had a flare gun. <laughs> Zelda's finally playable after 30 years. <laughs> What'd you say about Just Dance? She just said, oh, this again. <laughs> no one cares about Just Dance. I know nobody that plays Just Dance. Let's see. Deluxe Shakes, Vanilla Wonder. This is so cheap. Zane's special surprise. <laughs> $15 to not know what's in it. A large $3. These are so cheap. You know, maybe the dark place isn't so bad, you know. Look at how cheap the cinema food is. And the same style as Link's Awakening. I love Link's Awakening. I actually thought for a wild second, I've not played um, Link Between Worlds, but I thought the trailer that was showing off was a Link Between Worlds HD done in the same style of Link's Awakening. But to know it's a full on, like, actual game you play as Zelda, I'm much happier with it. <laughs> we play as the girly! Looking for the cult. I felt like I'd been on this case looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more. The only case I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. Ba, ba, Wait. They lead in two different directions? Hello? Eh. Wait, come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. There we go. Word of fix. I, th I feel like I've been slacking on finding these words. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm missing so many. Increase maximum health. So on safe hands by 30. So 50% of max health for new word. God rays. <laughs> 
Okay. The main event was the murder. I had to find my way to it. Cult of the word. The first step toward the murder site. I was making progress. Cult of the word is such a like silly name, but also kind of cool at the same time. It toes the line of being just a teeny tiny bit dorky. Someone had barricaded themselves But then not in being the dorky. Well, I'm standing on something. <laughs> Wait, can I? It wants. I want to go in there. Hold on. And now go in here. <laughs> Too smart. <laughs> ceremony or so we made our new members believe two of new york's finest they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us we among had something us special waiting for them and something very special for you alex casey who's your leader alan wake hmm? scratch zane give me a name <laughs> You will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. Bop, bop, bop. Ooh. Thank you. I completely missed that before. Bop, bop, bop. I love, like, the voice acting for Alex Casey. It's so good. Give me a name. <laughs> New York's finest. Ooh. Loving the mood, Lighten. I'm gonna save. <laughs> no, wait, this isn't a save. Save. Uh, ooh. As someone who has played every Zelda game besides the ones in the adult timeline, I'm hyped to, I'm hyped to get one that actually has Ganon from the older games. I see people say like <laughs> Sucks that Zelda can't use a sword. This is what happens to women in games. However, I raise to you that that little rod that she has that can, like, duplicate items and things and enemies and stuff shows her duplicating a boulder, picking it up, and throwing it at an enemy. <laughs> She's actually the strongest character we've ever had. I hear applause. Theater hall. This game looks so pretty, dude. <laughs> this is, makes me realize this game is so pretty. Uh, I'm gonna yoink this light. Uh, Cult of the word. Let's watch cheat TV. TV time. Am I gonna get attacked? <laughs> My favorite show. Amogus imposter check. Sus. <laughs> Sus. You vented? Venting? The urban legends circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I'd done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic or two uh -oh. in the art house cinema. A rising uh -oh. <laughs> star coming to America from Finland. But he only created. Don't attack me. Film. Cutscene is happening. Tom the poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film. An early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, 
that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. Oof. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail. Just like Wake's books were. Ba, ba, ba. Imagine a cult forming around like a book, like, 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 like a young adult book or a movie. Wake. Don't, don't, no, uh, -uh. Don't attack. Actually, wait. Oh, they're gonna attack me. They're gonna attack me. Do this. I just want to see what happens. Wake. This didn't help me much. Ooh. Anything here? Wake. No. Wait. Leave, leave me alone. Wake. Emergency meeting. Your posture, sus. <laughs> They keep adding new stuff. They had like an Among Us trailer in that, uh, in the direct yesterday too. They keep adding more stuff. Ooh, what's this? I feel like if I ever played Among Us again, I'd get so overwhelmed, I'd instantly turn it off. Before it was so simple, but now it's like, ugh. <laughs> There's so much new things. The cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult. And it had been a scream. They were the murder victims. <laughs> and it had been a scream. That's nice. I had nice. to find a way into the projection booth somehow. I don't think I've ever come up here and seen, like, these badges on the floor. Ever. Find a way into the projection. I don't think I've never come up here before. <laughs> uh, find a way into the projection booth. Wake. Uh, change it again back to this. Is that a door? No, that was the door I was already in. Don't, don't, I hear noise. No! <laughs> wait, hang on, wait, hang on. <laughs> Times. It's happened again. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. This item on your wish list is now on sale. I have now been informed four times. <laughs> Either through the actual PS5's notifications or on my phone that Tony Hawk is on sale. Is this a sign of some sort? <laughs> Do I have to play it? Did it forget all the progress I just made? I think it did. Oh. Stop walking into the board, Alan. It's getting a bit bit much, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the new one they added they added was Tracker, I think. I want do they have a like classic mode for Among Us? Where there's like no changes and it's just basic Among Us like how it was how it was like years ago. No, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Urban legends circling Can I skip this? We already seen this. I've done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic tour in the art house cinema. Don't. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only Don't do it. <laughs> one film, Tom the Poet. Before no. Music, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played <laughs> by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland. Nightless Night. Rumored to have mystic properties some claimed it was a snuff film 
that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail. Just like Wake's books were. Imagine seeing a snuff film and you're just like, that shit was such a banger, love the story. <laughs> Do I have to go and look at the badges again? Ah, oh, jazzes. How am I jazzes? Princesses are usually the strongest, so I'd make her overpowered, so I get it. Isn't what? Isn't Princess Peach also getting a game? Or she got a game? The the dress up thing? It's you. Following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society. Or maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Ba ba ba. Do we get to watch the movie now? Clip of the lost film. Back with the ice cream. <gasps> You can't just say back with ice cream, then not tell us flavor. What's the flavor of the ice cream? I gotta know. Oh! Oh, this movie looks fun. Oh my god, there are shadow people everywhere. Excuse me! <laughs> don't, don't kill me. Not this shit again. No, 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 no,
Let's do it in order. Cult of the Word. What? Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. Poets Sinea. Was that it? Just someone fell? Gita. Uh, New York's finest. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Police jump scare! Thanks for the light. Uh, ooh! For this initiation? Hey, this is the cops, the two cops, the assholes from the side of the game. Yeah. Nah, I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues, made plenty of their problems disappear, dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep. Like we died and went to heaven. Oh no, don't say that. <laughs> I love when characters just list off their crimes like that. They're just like, oh, do you think we can do this thing? You know, since we've killed so many people and shoved their bodies down this chute. <laughs> oh, Jim! Thank you for paying spider tax. Hello! Ooh. can hear coughing down there. Oh my god. Okay, that's actually very different. Before, what used to happen, and this is like in earlier patches, you would walk up to that vent, instead of playing that audio sound of people like getting chucked down and then coughing and things, uh, it would jump scare you with Scratch's face, and I fully expected that to happen. <laughs> but no, they changed it to a sound effect plays. Ah. Okay, I have the light from the cop car clip of the lost film. But Jimmy, it's so good to see you. I can always count on you to pay your spider tax. Everyone else here, gonna go to jail for tax evasion. Uten U. Oh, there's so many. I can't read these names. Oh, I can't read these words. <laughs> Thomas Zane is like Thomas Zane in Finnish. I know Ale Alexi I look at the plot board to figure out a way forward. Shut up. Alexi Kessa is Alex Casey. Ati Uvotari. Ati and the janitors, I know those words. Veko Allen or oh, Alan Wake. Man, Finnish is so cool. In the city trapped in eternal night, they watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. Where the night hides in your mind. This looks like one of the covers for Silent Hill Downpour. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Nightless night. This post is much worse than the other one. And change it to this again. Wait, hold on. Wait, there's like a there's like a specific nothing. No, that still wasn't correct. Hold on. Uh, cult of the word. One of these has a door that opens here. Uh, clip of the lost film. No. The pole pole? What? Oh! 
Here we go. A hydrate, okay. You have a headache. Oh no. You didn't end up going to work today, did you? I say going to work. It's from you know what go to work, you know what I mean. <laughs> remember remember when I stole that school bus full of orphans and rammed it into a not for profit hospital full of the disabled and the elderly, causing everyone else in the bus to die a horrible death? Good times. <laughs> just randomly reminiscing about all the horrible like murders and things that they've done and then just like, damn that was cool. Anyway, sure hope nobody heard that. <laughs> Straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. Nazarenos pizzeria. Mamma mia. Right, right when retro. Hi, retro. Right when he asked. So thoughts in the direct. <laughs> the police car felt important to the story. Stop talking to me like I'm a baby, Alan. I know. <laughs> okay, so... The, the new Mario game, the bro Brothership, whatever it was called, that looks good. The second I seen it, I'm like, oh, those Mario and Luigi fans are going to be so happy after seeing this. Metroid Prime 4 looked really good. I've not played any other Metroid Prime game, but that looks good. Um, actually, you know what I'm really excited for? Fucking Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Because <laughs> it just looks like uh, Animal Crossing, but with Sanrio characters. <laughs> that looks so cute. I want to give it a go. Apparently it's been like an Apple Arcade game for a while. And now they're finally porting it to a console and it's like, yes, gimme. It's too good to stay on the Apple Arcade. Uh, what else was there? Ooh. Uh, oh, they had that new game by the Danganronpa people. Which is basically just Danganronpa again. <laughs> no joke. I'm sitting there like, is that just Danganronpa 4? Wait, come on. Yeah. Word of stuff. <gasps> Mark all nearby resources on Alan's map. Oh, that's so poggers. I've already forgotten what that new game is called. But it's, it's Danganronpa 4 in my brain. <laughs> that looks really good. Um... What else was there? There were a lot of instances of, I'm not familiar personally with this, but people who are, are going to be so happy, you know? Oh, Dragon Quest, yeah, I've seen that and I'm like, oh, people are going to be so happy. I love how they revealed it, of showing off that it was like a remake of 3, and then after that showing off, oh, by the way, 1 and 2 are also here. <laughs> it's like, oh, that, that was a, that's a cute way to do it. Ooh, policeman is this way. It's Danganronpa if, if it, with Fire Emblem combat, essentially. I like someone else's theory I've seen was that it actually is Danganronpa 4, but they're hiding the fact that it's Danganronpa. <laughs> and like, I could, that'd be very interesting. I don't think they would do that, but that'd be very funny if they did. <laughs> I don't know if it plays like Danganronpa, it looks like hack and slash. It looks like that top-down chess gameplay, you know what I mean? Three is considered the best one. Ah, I see. Okay. wonder why the creator says he wants people to experience, his, experience the game three, one, and two. Because it's starting off with the best. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, this one is the last one canonically. However, it is the best one we made. So play that first. <laughs> No, I imagine 3 is like a prequel, maybe? I don't know. The highlight was Perfect Dark for, on the N64. I seen that. They revealed Perfect Dark, and I already said I was watching with my mum, and she looked at it and she goes, What the hell's that? <laughs> she goes, It looks like the, that James Bond game. Or oh, she said Doom as well. And I'm like, There's people out there that are very happy that at that Perfect Dark's on there. <laughs> and she just goes, Oh, okay. Hey. Hello. You're Alan this time, right? Yes. Just making sure. It's me, Tim. Did you meet Scratch? You ran into Scratch, didn't you? My double. Well, it's hard to say, but he sure looked like you. It was weird because I heard that you got out of this place. I guess that was just a rumor. Anyway, I'm just doing my thing, still looking for Dor. 
I've got a new theory on that front. A game theory. What's your theory? What's this new theory? It's a lot, so buckle up. Okay, sit down. Everyone, you everyone sit down, chat. And I keep dreaming about other versions of me, right? Now this makes me think there must be other realities besides ours. But ours is connected to the rest of them. Door might even be a part of the reason why. He seems to be the only constant, but what does he want? What's he planning? Sorry. <laughs> You've got your own problems. Sometimes I think I'm going crazy trying to make sense of this. You know, maybe this whole thing is much bigger than what we're able to see. Or, everything I just said is bullshit. <laughs> Who knows? Ba, ba, ba. All answered in control too. <laughs> what did Scratch want? What was my devil doing? Did he have a manuscript with him? I need to know. Well, he didn't have anything. No, no, he had a cocktail and he was smoking. He wasn't like you said he'd be. Very, very touchy-feely. <laughs> he wore leather pants. You know, he was actually looking for you. He asked the same question about the manuscript. And then he asked if I was going to a costume party and if he could come. Like, I told him this wasn't a costume and he ran off. I guess he doesn't like cops. That wasn't Scratch. <laughs> Bro just wandered into Zane. Says, hi, I'm the police. And he just runs away from him. <laughs> I think this is because the board is like this like white board is like a way to track how many times you've met uh sheriff breaker this might be the last time we found all of them i wasn't even intending to find him every time we found them all dreams of different uh, ver uh different versions parallel universes multiverses we are connected because of something that happened to us somewhere else shock waves echo across worlds if i die will i wake up as another version is he killing versions of me when he says he, does he mean like door? Door's just like killing this one guy. Oh, look at these fancy pots and stuff. <gasps> Wait, teapot. Jim. Jim, 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 Jim. Teapot. <laughs> look. <laughs> Goldeneye, you've never heard of it till that announcement? Now, my mum's heard of Goldeneye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just seeing it. She goes, isn't that just Goldeneye or Doom? <laughs> I go, no, no, it's perfect dark. Nutty. Make a brew. I tried. <laughs> uh, where do I go? This way. Oh, it was a friend of Peppy Duck. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. No, wait, no, wait. Up, 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 up. Perfect Dark was the highest, it was the highest rated game in the Nintendo magazine I used to subscribe to as a kid. They gave it like 110 out of 100. What? <laughs> Wait, it's that good? I thought it was just like a first person shooter and that's it. Or well, is this where the people, can I fall off? No, he won't fall off, okay. Oh wait, plot board? Come on. Come on. Don't you fucking move, or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. They got me, Go Mr. Casey. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. 
And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I'd find the murder site? I'm just realizing when he said, like, project this reality onto the rest of the world, it's like, oh, is Zane's power, like, projection? Is that what it is? Uh, Perfect Dark also has one of your favorite audio tracks from a video game called Chicago. Probably not as special in modern context. Would you stream it? Is it on there right now? Like, was it like, oh, here is Perfect Dark releasing on the eShop right now. Stream it, stream it, stream it, stream it, stream it. Do I go all the way back now? Wake. Oh. Wake. Wake is not here. I'm Thomas Zane. Whoopie wee. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> It was by Rare. Wait, let's scroll. It was by Rare after they made Goldeneye because you no longer had the license for. Oh, that's why it looks so similar. Okay. Goldeneye was already one of the highest regarded games on the console, and Perfect Dark took it to 11. That's why they called it Perfect. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. They were like, we're going to make some good shit right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, ba 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 ba. Yeah. Anything about protagonist? <gasps> Poggers, fuck, I'm trapped in a cage. I was making progress. We're moving. Oh, what? Uh, this. Oh, fuck. Haha, <laughs> open the door for me. What a stupid. Uh oh. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, <laughs> shut the door. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Shoo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Save the game, save the game, save the game. <laughs> I just realized Jim redeemed like clicker like 10 minutes ago and I didn't do it. Wait, we'll do it now. Uh, wait. Oops, I hit I hit the mic. That's probably gonna sound dreadful. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> Nothing. Great. <laughs> Love this. <laughs> Perfect Dark got some extra credit. They given Goldeneye something like 95 out of 100, and they said Perfect Dark was everything great about Goldeneye, with a lot added on top, so they added to the Goldeneye score. <laughs> Stream it. Stream the game. Stream the game and then just like gush about it the whole time. It's like, this game is amazing because it does this, 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 and this, this. Oops. <laughs> Wait, what do I... in here again? Wait. <laughs> do I do the Grandmaster thing here? Wait, no, no, here. <laughs> like it, okay, that was kind of creepy, but just a little man in the corner. <laughs> no! Stop with these weird explosions, it's so, so weird. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, wait, before this happens, chat first. 
It's probably available now. I'm thinking about Friday or the weekend. <gasps> He's going to play it soon, boys. You know what? Give a shout out to Jim. I don't think we've done that in a while. Give a shout out to Jim. If you want to see Perfect Dark played by a professional Perfect Dark player, follow Jimitation today. Don't you take cheese away. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot cheese was an emo. <laughs> If you pure nostalgia stream gushing over every detail, let's go. And hello, Clippy, Clippy, Clippy. I keep getting notifications. I've gotten four now. Two on the PS5 and two on my phone that Tony Hawk is on sale. Is it a good stream game? It, it It's constantly being shown to me. So is it a good stream game? You know Tony Hawk, is, is it? Please, please tell me. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. Teleported into there the had film. To be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone. Come at me, uh, motherfucker. Joker? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Casey, what game? Ah, uh, Tony Hawk. It's been on sale. Like it just started this morning, and I keep getting notifications, and it's like I know, I know it's on sale. I was back where I started, a loop within a loop. I had to keep going. A loop within a loop. If I was Alan, I'd be so sick of this. story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. Let me in. Oh, that door wasn't there before. You enjoyed them? It's arcade and you can beat it in like a couple hours probably. There's a ton more content if you like it though. Ah! I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. Oh, hello. Show yourself. Who, who was it? Who said that? That's a real clever trick, asshole. And goodbye. It just sounds like children going like, you moron. Say that to my face, you moron. <laughs> He's doing fine. Initiation. Me and the girlies gonna go do an initiation. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. You can see that I played it, right? Don't I have to buy a game for it to show me who's played it? Or maybe it says it on the store page. I didn't see it. It's so much talking. Who's <laughs> there? Well, look, you got the wrong guy. I'm not Alex Casey. I only play him in the movies. 
He's just a fictional character. You're Sam Lake. What, what, what's going on here? Can I get your autograph? I love your you work. You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward. <laughs> the ritual sacrifice to open the way? I love the clearly no. telegraphed. <laughs> Please do not stab me with that knife over there so you can open the door. Please don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. Just leave the knife where it is. In the back. Go. <laughs> a knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous. In desperate need of another pass. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Let's forget about the... Do you want my wife's photographs? Don't go looking for the knife. <laughs> like the section is just Casey experiencing Tay Zunday's TF2 stream. I don't know who that is. If you have PlayStation Plus, be fun to play them with you. Oh, they're multiplayer? Oh no. Oh no, you don't. You'll be sorry. Would I though? Oh, and Jer. <laughs> what the fuck? Sir, I just want I just want to give you a, a little tickle with the knife, sir. Sir. Oh. Oh, this effect again. Oh, it's so cool. I was getting close. Sir? I just want to show you my knife, sir. Wait. I just want to show you my weird oh, eclipse, on, sir. You've done well. You've played your role perfectly. Everything out of your mouth is a damn lie. The only place any of this makes any sense is in your psychotic brain. As a fictional character in a story. You fulfilled your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers. How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! I welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. Like the movies. But first, here's an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living? Mr. Wake. The visions are getting under my skin. Coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. I like how he's just told, what if you're not real, Mr. Wake? And it's just met with, man, that was so annoying. Anyway. <laughs> Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Fuck. Did I miss <clears throat> something? Fuck. Their multiplayer, one of the main draws is playing with friends. Oh! Ah, I see. Actually, wait, speaking of skateboarding games, don't they have a new skate coming out soon? I remember watching Markiplier play Skate 3, like, years ago. And one of its, like, main gimmicks was you could crash the skateboard and you could see what bones you broke. <laughs> oh! The mask was the key. Now look at this mess. What a schmuzzle. Look, this is how Saga got the mask that was on top of the well in the Coffee Land place. Isn't that neat? This is how I could help her. Hi again. Saga Anderson, listen. I I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? He could have been scratch. 
I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have family in the horror story? I wonder if she can punch him when she's like that. It's closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Best song, best song, best song, best song. Yeah. Soon as generous. Not gonna come out before GTA 6. It's that far out? Didn't they announce Skay like fucking years ago? Ago. Oh. Forever seeking out the darkest part. Forever, forever, forever your heart. You won't believe what I got a notification for again. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. This item on your wish list is now on sale. I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wait, how do I how do I get out of here? Wait, I was traveling deeper the into same? the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps. Like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse. This is the same as before. Over a pale balloon in the sky. Float, float, fight, float and sink deeper. Night springs when bright falls. For this sleeper, the surface disturbed. The reflection now a traitor in the cavity of the skull. Turned into a crater. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Poggers. <gasps> Is the movie gonna play? <gasps> Chat. Chat. This is perfect timing, okay? Because it's nearly two hours, and I would normally wait till two hours to go, like, have a snack and stuff because I'm hungry. However... You're going to sit down and watch a movie now. <laughs> I've got to get it in like a good position. It's like Alan's not in the way. I th is this fine? Just having it like this? We're going to watch a movie now, boys. <laughs> I need to see if the audio is fine. Like if it's not quiet or anything. Make some sound, please, so I know. Oh, 
Out of hell with it. I'm gonna walk away. I'll leave it on this screen. Enjoy the film. Onko täällä ketään? Ahti. <tos> Sanovat, se joka varjoon tyytyy, valon ihmeestä paitsi jää. <tos> Tuhlaaja pojan paluu. Ja häntä kuipien välissä. 
oliko hakemaan anteeksi antaa. Uutiset mistään palusta ovat ennenaikaisia. Tulin vain käymään. Ja nyt kun muista millaista tämä touhu täällä on. En viivy kauaa. Missä veljesi luuraa? Pisti hengiltä. Rupes käymään aivoa se aina länkytys. Uhrilla ja mestarilla. Mutta ei se paska veli kelvon edes siihen. Sä olit mestarin valittu. Vaikka mä koskaan ymmärtänyt, että miksi. Päiviltä pitäisi sinutkin pistää. Mitä on? Nyt tuli tupe rapinat, poika. Leikataan parta! Leikataan pojalta parta! Miksi palasit? Kun kerran lähdit? En aikonut. Mutta nyt löydän itseni täältä. Nyt on kai kirottu, kirjoitettu sadistisen kirjailijan tarina. Kierrän kehää. Maa on syklinen laulu. Miten siellä valtion kontrollivirastossa menee? Väärä virasto. En ole siellä töissä. Sitä paitsi sain potkut. Ei olisi tarvetta talomiehen apulaisella. Ei ole. Tämän tilan isäntä katosi yön selkää vuosia sitten. Sen jälkeen kun sinä lähdit. Merkit on ilmassa, että muutakin loppuu hommat pian. Siksi kyselen virastosta. Ehkä saan sieltä töitä. Malja. Mille juomme? Yöttömälle yölle. Hi, I'm back. Anyone have any popcorn? <laughs> You sleepy? You sleep during movies? <laughs> we are sitting here and we're watching this film, watching this work of art. You have popcorn? <laughs> Authentic cinema experience. Man, I wish I had popcorn now. <laughs> You're cooking, so literally just sitting here in silence. Alan. Pelkäsin häntä. Me pojat oltiin aina vähän 
toivottomia naisten kanssa. I feel like saunas would be so uncomfortable, you know? And that sauna trip went crazy. <laughs> How long is this? Did you not stick around and watch the whole thing when you play Clippy? I think it's like... Oh, Wham knows it off by heart. It's like... I want to say 15 minutes. <laughs> this whole thing is 15 minutes. movie there's music stuff happening <sighs> I'm sure he's fine you know better be a trophy I think there is like a a trophy for watching the whole thing. Oof. Warnings for violence, I should probably say, because it looks like it's violence on a real person. <laughs> I should... Warning, guy gets stabbed and you see the shot a bunch of times. If you don't want to see it, look away. <laughs> Literally can't hear a single thing. I turned up the game audio purely for this. <laughs> Is it still quiet? Sam Lay acting his ass off for real. Tämä riitti vie sinut tuon puoleiseen. Hän palaa. Ja sinut lukitaan huoneessa. Alussa oli sana. How would he still even be alive after getting stabbed like 50 times? <laughs> from the doctor. What a scene to walk back in. <laughs> Kiitos. Rakkaani. En kierrä kehää. Tämä on spiraali. Spiraali. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Loppu. <laughs> I 
something that means like end or the end. Amazing film. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Oscar winner every year. <laughs> you turn on your compressor and you can hear it now, but it doesn't sound like much. Oh, I never thought about that. Yeah, like compressors and stuff. For my own headphones, I had to like um, get an equalizer because I felt like I couldn't hear much like the way they were on their own. But now they're quite poggers. I think it's just the song now. I like that. You can just sit here and watch a 15 minute movie. <laughs> Turn it down again. Ak hungi. <laughs> Am hungi. <laughs> You're back from the doctor. Did it go well? Don't have to say any like details here, obviously, but like. Did it go well? Yay or nay? Wait, how do I get out of here? Here we go. Like, if you go to a cinemas, don't like, do any of you get like disorientated and confused afterwards? <laughs> like, you just don't know where the exit is? Okay, get me out of here. Also, I love that song that plays, Artie's song. I don't know any of the lyrics because I don't know Finnish, but it's a good song. There wasn't enough alcohol in this city to drown the memories of this nightmare. But I'd damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. Like in the office. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. Imagine watching a movie, watching you die. And then you don't remember that you even, like, when it was filmed, or how that could even be the case. How fucked up would you be afterwards? Wait, part one. Oh, for the movie. It just gives it all to you at the end. Neat, okay. Have a bit of a shower, Alan. It was good! Doc gave you some ideas for treatment of think on. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Hopefully it fixes a dead problem. Notice today is like a very like medical day for people. You, you went to the doctor. Jim has a headache. Port Street and Draft Street. <laughs> like like a book. Wait. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. A lighthouse for some urgent reason. I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There was light and there is darkness. There's guilt and there's atonement, but the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. There's a long journey through the night back to the light. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Come save your soul. Awake new and whole. My name I will summon him. From the silence of screams. From the city of dreams. It's a dark ocean summoning. Pardon me. This, the building's here. Yeah. I am not wake. Nuh-uh. 
The front my memorial statue what? had been replaced by a statue of Alice. Answer the phone. The thought sickened me. Her life threatened by scratch. I had to hurry. Wait, where is it? This way. The internet doctor fixed your internet today. Did the old defibrillator. Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. That's just him, isn't it? Huh? You're, you're me? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza to help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? Look at the state of this man's hair. He would smell so bad. <laughs> but the photos from the talk show studio inside the shoebox at the plaza. Gone for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. I can't wait for him to finish talking. I'm gonna get attacked, man. I was so worried that he's going to start getting attacked in cutscenes again. <laughs> nah, leave me alone. Cozy Chi, hi! Hey, Luca, guess what? Chicken butt. Now what's up? <laughs> I'd been here many times before. Wait, what's it say? I didn't know how many. Notice of this demolition. Like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late. We'll be demolished on or after today. Oh! <laughs> <gasps> redeemed that in many years I think years no one's redeemed that in many years oh my god I feel like I should you know what I want to do when I do this whole like redesign thing I want every like uh redeem to have like an animation that goes along with it and the RR should have like a fanfare <laughs> a fanfare that goes along with it now, now there's, oh my god, now there's a lot of pressure. I gotta ha do a good one. If it sucks, what a waste of points. Also, how long did that take you? <laughs> oh my god. I made it that high, like, with the idea of, oh, no one will reach that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, we gotta, we gotta, it's gotta be good. Ara, ara. There you go. I hope it didn't breathe so hard that it fucked up the microphone. <laughs> You're halfway to unlocking it. How long does did that take, Mizu? You're gonna hunt a watch streak. That's true, actually. On whams, yeah. How come I don't have streaks? Some people like don't have streaks. I watch um, Dia Riku, the artist streamer. She doesn't have streaks either. It's just random. That was a good RR. Yeah! Gone. Just like my dignity has gone. <laughs> Nobody lived here anymore. Was I too late? Get to the writer's room. Now we, we gotta pee. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> I hope that was good, Misu. <laughs> you know who else has been holding that RR over my head? Jim. He keeps saying, he goes, I have enough. You don't know when I'm going to redeem it. <laughs> it was good? Yeah. Wait, can I get in here? Oh, my word. Scratch was in there, 
writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. He's got a blinding light in here. Inside. Nothing? Toilet! I need to sneeze. Oh no. The Dark Place, the art of Alice Wake. Full screen Alice. <gasps> I... It won't end. Like a nightmare I can't wake up from. I thought I could contain Ellen in my photos, but... Monster just keeps coming back. The lights flickering again. Every night. Like waves hitting the shore. I'm... I'm so tired. Don't sit in the dark, girl. That's half the problem. The darkness just turn lights on. He's here all the time. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. Made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist, but I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Alice Wake took her own life shortly after completing her work on The Dark Place. She will be missed, but will live on through her art. These Alice parts were way more than enough for me. What follows are her final photographs. Hi! Bye. Now, if you notice, I'll point out when this is done. Wait, I'll point it out when, when all this is done. Hold on. Alice was dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching. No way, John Wick. Out of return. <laughs> hey, Keith, how's it going? No! I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. Oops. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. 
I killed her. End of initiation. Now we're finally caught up. Okay, now I can say. I think this plays the entire eight minute song, so I kind of don't want to do that. That's way too long. <laughs> but notice, Alice jumped into Cauldron Lake. She is not dead. She jumped in there to save Alan. Oh my god. <laughs> He thinks she's dead, but she isn't. When you play the final draft, it confirms that she jumped into the lake to try and help him. Wifey's trying to help. <laughs> yeah, it's going geek. <laughs> you had to make that bad joke. Roses are red, violets are blue type speech. <laughs> this game is, is so deep. <laughs> You wanted to watch a 15 minute movie that's pointless? It is not pointless. The movie is a metaphor for what happens in the game. There's this deep subject matter here. <laughs> this song though, we've heard in like parts at the end of every single chapter. Is this song Billie Eilish? <laughs> no, it's a... what's her name? Poe, I think is her name. Yeah, Poe. Sure it is. <laughs> Uten U is narratively important, trust me. <laughs> also, it's got Sam Lake in it. Oh, yeah, yeah like, like the panda. All the Teletubbies, that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I let the song play? Give a yay or nay. Song play, yes or no. It's eight minutes long. No. <laughs> Want to see the end? True, true, true. Me too, me too. I'm worried we just won't have enough time. And we did, we have heard this song before. <laughs> Bye, Poe. This song is really good. It's the best one on the whole soundtrack. I'll listen to it later, trust me. Okay, don't give me that error again. Don't do it. Game, don't do it. Don't do it. Every time I get it, it scares me. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. This is fine. Continue. Be fine. Please be fine. We did bring Wake back okay, we're good. to the dark place. With the song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. Ba, ba, ba. Hey! Are you okay? <gasps> no! It's my fault! He got out with my face! Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared. Because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. God, that's such an incredible moment to Scratch realize that. To be wake. They're the same person. Bitch. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! <laughs> Mr. Bez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it. And blast it with all you got. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, Master Baz. Wait, do I even have too fast. I do Anderson, have okay. I do have flakes. Just two though. On it. Damn it. 
<laughs> Anderson, we lost power. He's walking aggressively. Shoot. Ready to roll now. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm like stuck on a rock. <laughs> okay, in a minute. <laughs> Chat first. This song is very Billie Eilish coded with the whole melancholic, airy, raspy type of voice. Mm. It does feel like Billie Eilish. Scrumptious down tempo, be like. I haven't heard much Billie Eilish except like that one song that got really popular that I can't remember how it goes, but I've heard at least one and you're absolutely correct. Okay. Wait, wait. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to remember what to do. Shoo. I'm trying, oh damn it! Now, Mr. Ben, the light! Got him, he's trapped. This is your shot, Anderson. Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying the heavy lights. We lost power. He's free. I'll fix it. We can hit him. Wait, no, 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 no! Wait, I'm, try I'm trying to trying to see what's here. Inventory full. How? Come on, come on, come on. Power is for out. God's sake, that's He's like two seconds. Hang in there, Anderson. <laughs> I'm stuck on this stupid rock every time. You're gonna be so Back up. Wait, the wait the Let me heal, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Punch him in the face. Trap him now. Okay, did this lock in the place? There we go. Shit, he's free. Lost the lights. Look out, Anderson! <laughs> One of the best kind of like game tropes is like to, to just beat up a monster and have old people yell positive things at you while you do it. <laughs> just, yeah, you got him, kiddo. <laughs> Oh, for God, let go of the thing. I'm trying. Oh my God, wait, he's not stunned. He's not stunned. He's not stunned. He's not stunned. Back in the Zombies yell. Oh. Like, damn, I got injured, but at least I got my really good windbreaker on. I'm sorry. 
sorry. Wait. Is it you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Did it work? Well, oops. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Dear Fist. It's official, but it's so fucked. Today. Bright Falls feels a little less bright. <laughs> oh, this song.
Why the song cuts out like that, I have absolutely no idea. But it just does. Anyway, during that whole song, I was watching a video on a beetle walking. <laughs> anyway, Bright Falls, I think, was getting destroyed while that was playing. So anyway, <laughs> back to the game. Oh. Actually, wait, before we get back to the game. Chat first. You fried up some frozen food, and my lord, it was scrumptious. <laughs> what kind? Per du chicken. <laughs> chicken strips and some random steak cut fries. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Hungry, but I don't know what to eat. Steel Clippy's food. <laughs> what the hell did I just hear? Hello, Zero Ultima, welcome. The best damn song Come ever. On. We need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it Salute up, the old men. They're gonna go save I've Saga. All play out. Like a horror movie I've been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Bye, old people. But hi, Zero. <laughs> I have no idea why the song just stops like that. It's like the end was right there and it just fades out. Welcome back, Wake. Hi. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of yes. you? Yes. Some good news, at least. Yes. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. Well, then I do the help, considering I kind of, you know, like, caused all this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. About Saga. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It drew Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. She does not care. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. <laughs> Just musical. What the fuck? What's the situation anyway? What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the dark presence is occupying Agent Casey. When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. I think we can fix this. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. <sighs> well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. <laughs> she just- I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't. Fuck it up. Like, she could just mean, like, I can't help because this is your thing. Like, you ha you have abilities I can't. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. It's like, I'm literally useless in this situation. But it could also be read as, this is your fault. <laughs> you deal with it. Thanks for the guns. Goodbye. Wait. Thanks for the guns and ammo. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, do I have everything in my quick slot? Yeah, okay. So season three in Attack on Titan started for me in manga form. It's gotten very interesting. Ah, yes. Attack on Titan. I've only seen, like, I think two seasons of the anime. Can I go up here? My weak little arms. I can't go up here. Two seasons of the anime. I liked it from what I've seen. Where do I go? Through 
through the tree? Okay, this way. It's like Agent Estevez. I'm lost. I was awake again. Clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Imagine how annoyed Alan must feel. 13 years, same shit. <laughs> same shit still happening. Ooh. How annoyed and how freaked out. Being in like a weird sleep nightmare state and then 13 years all of a sudden you feel fine. Because you escaped it, that's gonna feel strange. I'm saving my ammo. ammo. Leave me alone. Nothing. Once more, the oceans are laid. <laughs> so I like a land awake. Oh, I don't have a map. That's right. Okay. Where do I go? There's no clear path. Oh no. <laughs> okay, now I got it. Poker. First half royal government arc, second half retake the wall Maria attempt to. Retake wall Maria attempt to. Wait. I've not opened this? <gasps> Goodies. Wait, I don't have... Oh no, I do have it in the quick slot. Okay. Wait, uh oh. Wait, which way do I go? Oh no. This way. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, I hate it when tables just appear like that. In the dark place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over and weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was haunting me. Closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. Turned me into scratch. But he has a really cool fit on. <laughs> the Kalevala Knights. Because the first attempt went badly because of the female Titan. Oh, the blonde one! Yeah, I remember that one. Wait. This way. I think this is this gonna be like extremely close to the end of the game. <laughs> Alan? Alan? Oh my god, he got stuck on a rock. Defeated. I had to get to Bright Falls. I'm gonna steal a car. See this through to the end. He's lucky there's keys in this car. What if they just. What if? It's like on Alex Casey and Scratch just has the keys to this car. What then? <laughs> we gotta walk all the way back? I brought Saga Anderson into the store Wait. to help me escape. <laughs> she succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. This error mess message keeps popping up so much. It's like a recurring character now. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I dived in. A leap of faith. 
for Alice, with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. No, she isn't. No. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrible. It was so emotional for me when I played this the first time. It's like he's going back in there again, willingly. No! Save error one. <laughs> Alan Wake return. Dear Fest. Alan Wake doesn't feel right without the this where's my wife fit. <laughs> not what I expected. Hey. The stage fight Bye. <laughs> Oh, look at that effect. That looks so cool. What? Okay. <laughs> ah, the puke effect. Wake deftly tricks the reader into believing the cult of the tree is the story's antagonist. Setting the trilogy's exciting conclusion at Deerfest? This bowling fucker is a home run! I agree. Home run, yeah. Thrilling. Baseball, Ooh, America. Balloons? Look at the masks. If they ever, it's not gonna happen. If they ever have like an Alan Wake convention, everyone there should wear a mask. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. So in, okay, in Scratch's ideal reality, Alan is celebrated as an incredible writer. <laughs> Scratch is being like, I made up this fake world for you, Alan. <laughs> everyone and everything revolved around So everyone knows how poggers you are. Just published. Look at the shops and stuff. Oh, look at a cookie. I'd eat that. I'm sure almost everyone knows who the female titan is. I don't remember her name. I think it starts with A. But I can see her in my head. Mind frying. Hi. <laughs> what are you two doing here? What are we looking at, squad? Just the guy. <laughs> it's just a dude standing here. <laughs> this feels like, what is it, like the awkward stare emo? Is this Elmo? Hey, we know how I can tell. Oh, it, the camera, camera, there we go. Oh, I don't think it is. It's just a random guy. Yeah, I don't think it's him. <laughs> I feel like this book should be thicker. I can see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite Ugh. the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story. <laughs> Average Brandon Sanderson fans. Oh, fuck. I'm trying- Oh, no! Nah! <laughs> Oh, 
This writer is so incredible! Stabs him. <laughs> oh, I know. I got trapped on a chair. God damn it. I've never seen a second I of Attack on Titan. The of the writer's room in the photo. It's pretty good. That's I liked it. To, to rewrite the ending of Return. Okay, there we go. What the hell? What? A bin got in the way. <laughs> God damn it. Picked up book story to die for. Killer book. There we go. I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. Only one for Shonen. That's fair, that's fair. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare. All revolving around a vain monster of a writer. And his final divine work of art. Isn't he talking about himself though? Return because this true. is all about him? It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Counts as like a shonen anime anyway. Like, like, what's the definition? I needed to reach the writer's room, write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? I think yes. <laughs> I would bring his sick fantasy crashing down around him. He's hi. He just. I had to find another way inside. He just writes in his own story. Alan Waite became a drunk alcoholic. <laughs> And then Scratch is going to be like, ew, and then leave him alone. Can I go this way? No. I ate and did food. Had takoyaki, veggie, croquet, and chrysanthemum tea. It sounds fancy, so it's got to be good. <laughs> this way? No. All through here. Okay. Oh, it just refers to Alice. Wifey. <laughs> what was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap, or was Scratch torturing me? She's not dead. But shonen just means uh, like who it's made for. So young boys. Okay. Are we talking One Piece? Jesus. <laughs> Wasn't even mentioned. It's Attack on Titan, <laughs> not One Piece. I suppose One Piece though would also count, like as the shonen. Like jo Jose uh, and Shoujo for women and girls, respectively. Okay. No, <laughs> nobody mentioned One Piece. Leave. <laughs> Wifey. Wifey. I think Death Note is Sinon? Maybe. Whoa! <laughs> oh my word. Oh no. Is that still chasing me? Can they get me? <laughs> anyway, bye! <laughs> Hi, Rose! We're safe in the light, Alan. For now. But he's very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? 
<laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. <laughs> what? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving. Her DLC is gonna go crazy. I know. I know it. <laughs> also, I love him telling like the supernatural evil cloud to fuck off. <laughs> Monster, Monster, and Death Note are signed in anime. Okay. Older teens. Okay. One Piece is shonen. Shonen Jump. It's a classical source of shonen like Naruto and One Piece and all, the, all those garbage shows. Yeah, me too, Jim. I remember shoujo because of V-shoujo. Mm-hmm. Messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> but now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. Wink. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Thank you, Rose. I've never seen any of those shows for extreme lack Upstairs, of interest. <laughs> the writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. OMG, I'm here to help Alan. <laughs> oh my god, I need a sneeze. <laughs> Oh. We'll loop around and come to Keter. Ati, hi! I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Vileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm. Now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Very good advice, Akti. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. You're like the there best character in all go. these games. <laughs> I love the you. There is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ati. Give him a hug. Patch the game so we give him a hug. <laughs> Wig, yet you've seen Sailor Moon. I've seen a couple episodes of Sailor Moon. I like how since Arty isn't malicious, nobody questions the fact that he's like omnipresent. Everyone's like, who's Mr. Door? But everyone's like, hey, it's Arty. Hi, man. <laughs> everyone's so chill about him. Like, I, I love you. Best character. Mwah. Okay. This room again, my god. I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. The end. Eternal Deer Fest, the novel return come true, my final divine work of art. First granted to the people of Bright Falls, and over time it would spread, the celebration reaching everyone. Scratches, Scratches wrote this, like, and then everyone partied, and soon everyone in the world would do the, would party. The end. <laughs> Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. Is he gonna do it? Alan? I needed an ending that took everything already in Return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Uh huh. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. 
Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. An eclipse? Wow. It's Alex Casey's writing prowess. <laughs> oh, Scratch's writing is only as good as whoever he possesses. <laughs> and then I won the end. The ending has to fit the show. Hydrate, it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Pay the price. One whole dollar a do. And everyone clapped and had a dance party. <laughs> pay the price. The dark horror ending to save them all. The hero must pay the price. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. How Saga thinks Alan wants to kill everyone and anyone. <laughs> no one left to love. She just thinks like he's some random like writer serial killer that just wants to kill everyone. And she's like, no, we gotta save people. He he ain't like that at all. That's not the end, right? No, no, no. Notice it zoomed the camera into the water. Through darkest dark, I'm pushing through. So it's Saga again after this. Through the end, I'm reaching you. Though they keep saying that my baby is gone, I keep on loving. For my love's the light holding you tight, holding you tight And they can never take that away I'll change the story where it's saying There is no one left to love None of my jam emotes match this song at all. <laughs>
but we're playing songs anyway but you want to finish the stream the songs set the tone if we skip the songs we skip vital story setting stuff <laughs> all right saga time it's weird how all the overall chapter songs are like popish <laughs> sam blake is just put the pop songs in the story i don't care if they fit or not Stop telling me this! <laughs> Every time, by the way, error in the save, it's fine. Oh, wee! <laughs> no. Uh oh. What's going on? Am I in the field office? Uh-oh. <laughs> no. It's the mine place. Not gonna lie, I played this moment like when it was My work. night. It's all gone. And it started freaking me out. What the hell is happening? I can't sense anyone. Uh-oh. Brother, she's going until it's over regardless. Yeah, Where there is, is not that much left. We can stand to listen to the songs. Nothing's working. Uh, I can't uh, think straight. My brain broken. Can I pet the deer? I can't. Oh, the photos are gone too. Hey, do you know about this error? <laughs> Might offer an error in this trying time. I can't leave. Why can't I leave? The mind palace. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? My mind feels whoa. My mind feels foggy. What? Why am I? I'm trying to read. Who? What's happening to the case board? I'm trying to read. Where the thing go? My mind feels foggy. Why am I in the mind place? And why can't I leave? Something is very wrong here. This is the dark place. I'm in danger. I have to get out of here. Scratch took the clicker. Scratch threw me in the cauldron lake. Wait, other saga. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. She's right. Cauldron lake is the gateway to the dark place. I'm in the dark place. I get out by opening the door. Failed them. The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in the dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. This is personified negative self-talk. It's like, I'm fine, what the fuck? And there's one half of her brain going, Oh god, oh fuck! Uh, looking at what classics they have on PlayStation Plus. They added Daxter, yeah, I've seen that. I kind of wonder, like, should I play Sly Cooper on stream? Because it's on here now. Like, it's on the PS5. I could play it really easily. So when Saga tried to pull Alan out of the lake with the clicker, she got sucked in herself. No, Alan got out. Actually, no. It turns out Alan was possessed by Scratch, so they were both present the whole time. Scratch possessed Alex Casey, her partner, so he's kind of fucked up now. Alan was free, but he jumped back into the dark place because Saga was thrown into the lake by Alex Casey, who is now Scratch. That's what happened. <laughs> Logan. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. It's just, no. <laughs> Casey. Casey. Casey depended on me. And I let him down. 
I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Something's very fucking wrong here. You're playing the Sly One PS5 version, it's really good. The PS3 version's good too, but I always noticed there was like clipping in the menus and stuff, and it made it look vaguely ugly. <laughs> it played fine, but like the menus looked a bit fucked. Your partner. Ooh, Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. Your daughter. I'm a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. Yourself. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. <laughs> you fucked everything up. This game is so mean. She's dead because of you. Casey is a monster now. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. The horror story. The story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do. How I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. Uh, Logan is dead. Where is she? Wait. There. She's not dead. God damn it. You're the only one who won't accept that she's dead. Like, this is so fucked up, though. Because, like, if everyone keeps telling you that your daughter died, even though, like, to you that she didn't, would you start believing, be like, believing everyone else because everyone else keeps saying that it's true? I'm not gonna lie, this is me when I haven't eaten lunch and it's 3pm. <laughs> Wait. There we go. Oh, it's the same piece of evidence. Oh. Wait, does it say different text? Oh, what makes more sense? Everything is wrong or you are. If you hadn't been at work, she'd still be alive. She died alone and scared, begging for you to help, and you weren't there. As the water filled her lungs, she realized you weren't coming. Can you even still call yourself a mother after you let your only child die? I like how, like, the pictures get no! darker. I'm done with you're this. You're blaming a horror story. It just keeps coming back. Instead of yourself, you're you you, bleh, you coward. Admit she's dead. And you killed her. You killed her. You killed her. I'm gonna eat a cookie. Pass. <laughs> I feel like Saga. Like you, you just need to like to eat 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 a biscuit, and you'll feel way better. Uh, any more of this? No. Ah. <gasps> I don't want to do the DLC Why did now. You let me drown? I never should have trusted these. Uh, I used the manuscript pages as a crutch instead of doing my job. The pages were a part of the job. What? It's not DLC. Yeah, it is. It said before when that screen came up, it said you just found a DLC episode. Uh, this? No. This. The pages were your excuse for always being one step behind. This negative self-talk saga, nah. There's no way out. Casey was being corrupted and I did nothing. Is this the paper from before? No, this is different. Subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and events. Concussion. Similar symptoms to those uh, becoming shaded individuals. Exposure to the shadow is suspected but not confirmed. You knew he was hurt. You knew the Dark Presence did something to him. You didn't care. You only pretended to care when it was convenient the second he became a liability. You let Scratch have him. I need to have a reverb button. <laughs> Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? This... The same? There were so many hints, how did you miss this? Wake was scratch, it was right under your nose. Wake was scratch, wake was scratch, wake was scratch. <laughs> you access the DLC in the main menu. Oh, this is the Night Springs with the daughter, okay. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Okay, good, good, good. 
their weekly ritual. Before it said I ran into a DLC episode. Maybe there's like you can access it from the menu, but if you're just playing the game, it's also there if you want to play it via the game, maybe? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. What about the small pumpkin? How is this important? This case, this room, is any of it even real? Any profiling? No. The teapot! Where's Jim? The teapot's back! <laughs> you let me die! Quiet, daughter. I'm doing I'm doing casework. Uh, what was this? This has all been a hallucination. Terrible detect no. Terrible mu no. Lost your mind, there you go. Looking at deals and the Master Chief collection is only three bucks. Oh, apparently they're gonna put maybe Halo on PlayStation? Oh my god, I'd love that. Remember we played Halo really briefly on like the original Xbox and then I had to stop because the Xbox broke. <laughs> uh, Casey was injured. You terrible partner. Wait, what? No. How does this not? Huh? Terrible detective? Terrible mum? I'm not Casey's mum. I don't know. Lost your mind? Wait. Logan? Oh, your fault he got hurt. Okay. Need a backup and you weren't there. Took Logan away from her father. He took her from David and stuck her in a back backwater shithole. Bright Falls don't deserve that. <laughs> Get potted, bro. <laughs> Look at read mine again. Looking at the deals and... Oh, Thief Master Edition. <laughs> I just auto-corrected this Halo. Thief Master Edition. No, I seen that actually last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake was scratch and I had no idea. Terrible detective. It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my... Fears, my doubts, my insecurities. Idiot, 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 idiot. <laughs> I ignore the fact that Dark Presence was affecting Casey. This one's partner, right? Yeah. She'd never brought him the Cauldron Lake right to scratch. Did I miss stuff? Yes. I spent too much time away from Logan. Anything else? Oh. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. The spiral, you say? Not a loop, it's a spiral? It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. I mean, not really. I didn't guess they were a part of the cult until the game, like, told me. I've had it with you cultist maniacs! I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. Logan. The horror story used her. I also read it as Master Chief Collection somehow. That's fucked up. It, I can. I don't know why I read it like that. Oh, cause thief and she. Ah, okay. <laughs> this order filled. I want to talk about Halo now. <laughs> Logan's death broke something inside me. Terrible mom. No. Died because it. No. Lost your mind. You couldn't face what happened, so you cracked. Abandoned my partner. You were so eager to be in charge that you left him behind. Elmo and Yako. They're, they have such fun names. Elmo and Yako. We're running a cult round on my nose. What kind of detective are you? They were right in front of you. Casey was wrong to put his trust in me. Wait. There. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. But I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. She's like panicking, but like her face is so stoic. <laughs> Logan was alone. She spent every day by herself in that trailer. 
Oh my god! <laughs> I do not recall that happening when I played that before. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? A way out. Yeah, whatever. No. <laughs> there has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh, God. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. Poor baby. <laughs> you sitting too close to the TV? No. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. I don't remember that happening before. I need a way out, please. I need a way out. It's over. There is no point trying. Everything is lost. There is no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. Do you get food though if you're stuck here? We get a pet deer though. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Oh. Oh. The lights. Get some candles. No. no, I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. Uh, and the TV's still on. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Wait, I heard a sound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the power of lights. Wait, what the fuck? There we go. See, this like this is exactly like Kingdom Hearts, essentially. Wait, what's I saying? Hey mom, I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. Mom. So bring me back something cool from Washington. Nordic tales and other folklore. I am honored by this award. Thank you. Meritorious. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. Yay! No, I'm not reading anymore. Okay, we hate paper now. We hate books and reading. And my gun! Pick it up! Never should have taken this case. Hey! hey. Just calling just to call say to thanks for your note. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I just get in my head, in my head, too, head much. too much. So, so thanks for pulling me out. out. You're really You're the best, really best mom. Pumpkin! Really. Pumpkin! Okay. okay. Talk soon. Talk soon. Saga, for what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan gr uh, grows up seeing you do what you love, what you're, what you're great at. That'll teach us so much. There will be times just like this where you question your choices, your competence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. Love you always. Mwah. Oh, the picture! Anderson, uh, look. After Rand left, it was, uh, well, I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. Bad place? Like the dark you place? dragging me to those dinners in your house with your family. It really, uh, meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I just need for five minutes. Thanks to whoever did that. I saw this online and it made me think- Not the worst, Mom. Okay, what are you doing? Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom. No hugs, no hugs. Aww. Not the shittiest, Mom. 
Seeing as darkness somehow feeds on you, it probably had a way of keeping you alive. Maybe. Stop blaming yourself, Andrew. Alcohol. A knife in the arm. It's just, just part of the job. If you're gonna keep fussing, you can get the hell out. But leave the whiskey. Whiskey. <laughs> Do you eat in the darkness, spawns, dear? <laughs> Here's some venison. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. Can't even go to the bathroom here. This sucks. Did I get everything? Oh boy, there's a lot here. The dark presence took advantage of KC's injury. You knew he was injured. Why the hell did you take him to the Cauldron Lake? I'll bottle of whiskey for Casey when he was in hospital. Our job is dangerous. Yay! Casey himself told me that. It's no one's fault. I wish I'd been there for Casey. Fault! It is! It is! <laughs> I'm trying to read, damn it. I wish I'd been there for Casey, but I know he wouldn't want me to blame myself for this. We can't control every outcome. He taught me that. Aww. The mug Logan gave me. Aww. This goes here. I'm not a perfect mom, but I'm doing my best. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. Okay, like it's just, hey, my daughter actually does love me. Then just a flash of, she fucking hates you. <laughs> I might not be the perfect mom, but I've done my best. Logan loves me and I love her. But of Casey at Logan's birthday party. No. Here. Yeah. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. Oh, the misery. Every single person is my enemy. I may not always be the best partner, but Casey trusted me. Uh, he wouldn't give up, and neither will I. Casey's still in there, I'm sure of it. Reassuring note from my mom. No. This is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. I haven't lost it, at least not yet. This is all real. This place wants me to doubt myself, but I can't. I still have work to do. Commendation from the FBI. I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. No idea what I'm doing. If I were a bad detective, I'd probably be dead by now. Blaming myself for past mistakes won't solve the case. And then there we go. It's okay to be afraid. But I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. Positive self-talk. Yay! I haven't failed them. I'm not gonna- I'm not going to. There is still time to fix this. I am leaving. I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. Deduction available. Uh, I can leave by overcoming my doubts and fears. I love how she did this in like 10 minutes. The dark and Alan couldn't do this in here. 13 years. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Case closed. The Dark Place tried to weaponize my anxieties against me. I won't let it turn me into a Taken. I'm stronger than that. And Logan needs me for the dot. Ah. Can I leave now? Radio. Oh, all my stuff's back. Wait, where does this go? <laughs> I just have a random piece of paper. Where does this go? Wait. 
Kind of monster's heart. I didn't place this ages ago. And all these for later. Okay. Yay! Return nine, come home. The payphone was ringing. Where's the phone? Where am I? Somehow I knew the call was for me. It's Zane again. He's like, hey, <laughs> what up? It's like, hey guys, it's me. <laughs> Where is the phone? <laughs> Bye. The devil from Bible. <laughs> Hello? Hi, it's hey, Thomas hey, Zane. Oh. You need to go to the statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox. It's there. Alice. The ending? A shoebox? Who is this? Wifey! She's now Saga's wifey. <laughs> That's how it works. She's now my wife. Wait. Tim? Tim! Hello! Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What are you doing here? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dor. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. Where is Parliament Tower Plaza? I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there are many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. It describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Wallen Dor, who is that? Oh, that's right, she's not met him. Who is this Dor person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. Hello. <laughs> Can I see that page? Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. He doesn't, like, hand it out for I'm me. He waits me to Dor. walk up to him. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warling Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. I swear, I'm going with my theory that Dora is her dad. Cause who else is he gonna be? Map, I need that. 
There you is, Wallendor. This is the first time I've seen a page about Wallendor. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. <laughs> this isn't important right now. I can look into it later. Moving through the dark place. I if it was her dad, I guess she would recognize him? The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities, here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Unless it's her dad in like a different dimension. A uh, construction site is somewhere this way. You know what? I think they should give the Silent Hill not this way. Okay. They should give the Silent Hill IP to Remedy because like look at this. It's got fog is blue. <laughs> Imagine a Silent Hill game made by the Remedy people. This way? Hi Tim. Bye Tim. Why would he be your dad? Because he said in that one cutscene, like ages ago, like last stream, like, oh, you brought someone very important to me into this. Like, she said that, she, he said that to Alan. Something like, who else is a part of this? Saga. <laughs> I read that already. Tim. <laughs> Oh, it could be Tim, like, he secretly really cares about Tim. Wait, if he's, like, the same guy that- I don't know his role in Quantum Break. Like, like, what his character is. Is he close friends with- He's not Tim in Quantum Break, but whatever character- Is he close friends with the protagonist in, in that game? I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. Wow, that was easy. You let me down. You pushed me. Enough already. <laughs> I like this attitude so much more than, oh no, like the, the self doubts eating my brain. Oh no. I love just like the sounds of her daughter like drowning and crying out, and she just goes, shut up. <laughs> Can we talk about Alan's wife? How would he know Alan's wife though? There's the shoebox. Gimme. The clicker. Yeah. And some kind of bullet. Shining with light. A bullet of How light. Did the clicker get here from Washington. Your mama gave me a magic clicker. Yes, I think it's true and fair to say. Do I go in here? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Escape the dark place. Where am I going? Ow. Not this way. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm turned. Aspects of Silent Hill. One, fog. Two, blue. <laughs> he didn't say the person was someone he likes. I forget the exact line, but it, like it alluded to like maybe a family member. Oh, 
it's not this way either. Where am I going? Do I not go in here? Nah, 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 nah. Phone! 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 The phone again. <laughs> oh! <Yes. laughs> Hello. Uh, you don't know me, but you need to. Hi again, me. Alice. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? We okay. need to talk. <laughs> I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to contact him. Uh, Alan's wife is not in the dark place. She got out. No, actually. What happened was, it looked like she committed suicide, but she didn't. She jumped uh, into Cauldron Lake, so she's back in the dark place now. Hi, Wake. Alan. We need to talk about the ending. Saga. What is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're you real. Look so sad. Just like this now. I try to use him to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. Silent Hill's Peanuts compared the Remedy games. Yeah, but imagine a Remedy-led Silent Hill game. Imagine how fucked up, like, all over the place it would be. It'd be incredible. When? <laughs> She's like looking directly into the camera. And she, am I gonna get attacked actually? Noises are happening. No, okay. She was looking directly into the camera and she's like, no one's gonna understand what I'm about to do, but I need to do this for Alan. And then it shows her like, and then it has text that says that she committed suicide. These are the last photos she took. And it was pictures of her jumping into the lake. But if you check what lake it is, she's jumping into Cauldron Lake. Is there a problem? So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. D but we can still figure this out. I agree. <laughs> and what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. It's a horror story, just in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> you don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. Oh my god, this is massive. Logan and Casey must survive. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of it. Yeah, it's easy. They can just make games that are better than Silent Hill. <laughs> hey. If Alan Wake 2 wasn't that wasn't like as good as it is, I'd be so insulted. But now nah, you're right. <laughs> so the ending has to be earned. Set up by the story. 
You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. How I see the end in pieces. How I see the ending. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in this story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. <laughs> this is not your ending, it's mine now. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. And again, <laughs> the price must be paid. Yoinky sploinky, Alan. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? <sighs> There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. Yay! We're working together! I need to retrace my steps back to Caldera Street Plaza. I gotta go back! <laughs> I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too. Oh boy. Oh, I have nothing except the gun. Oh shit. I want my flares! <laughs> She figured this out so quickly. Poor Alan trapped here for 13 years. Dania? Caldera Plaza is back through the subway. I have to hurry. Is Saga slash Alan have to pay the price? What? <laughs> I hate you, Mom! Excuse me. What? That was so rude, don't do that. Hey. Anything else over here? No. Okay. Actually, I just want to say, on the final draft version of this playthrough, uh, Tor, and Ol uh, Tor and Odin, the old people, are actually here, like, just standing off to the sidelines, and they're just going, Yeah, go get them, Saga! <laughs> Is going, yeah, you do that. Meanwhile, we're going to stick around here. <laughs> God, mom. Get out of my room, mom. Whee! Don't say the save thing again. Don't say the save thing again. Thank God. We're going to choose who pays Alan? the price? No. Saga. I finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker, and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face <laughs> into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Okay, see? The end. Scratch. Bell. A white searing light of 
truth that for a flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. Swear at him, yeah. What if there's nothing waiting to be revealed? The play of shadows fool us all, subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. Is destroyed by what he sees and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing but sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place? Another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning. The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting. To know nothing when we loop around, back to the... You good, Alan? Is it over? Anderson. And that's the end of Alan Wake 2. <laughs> and that's the ending. However, you get the complete ending doing the final draft playthrough. <laughs> Which we're not gonna do, so I'm just gonna tell you right now. I hate that ending, it's so stupid. It feels a lot more, like, it's, it's more complete in final draft, yeah. <laughs> But I'm just gonna say right now, the ending is what happens is, um, he's dead in the chair. Alice comes in with the save. She revives him. I think the phone answers, so Logan's fine. And I believe they all escape. And Alan just has, like, dimension powers. <laughs> Alan just has writing powers. <laughs> So yeah, that was Alan Wake too. Not even with the final draft, it's so unbelievably flaccid. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not the best ending. This is a game with like the actual game portion and like the, the plot revealed during the game is better than the actual ending. <laughs> but yeah. It's not the most satisfying ending, but yeah, like, it's it's uh, not a loop, it's a spiral, yeah. Final Draft's ending is better, but... Yeah, the main ending really isn't. <laughs> it's very inconclusive, you know, you don't know if they got out, you don't know if the daughter still lives, Alan looks like he's dead in the chair, <laughs> It's a very, oh, okay, <laughs> kind of ending. But yeah, Alan Wake 2, my game of the year every year. <laughs> that means on Friday, we've got, we've got the DLC, full stream of just the DLC. <laughs> yeah, cool story, bad ending. That's a good way of describing it. Yeah, yeah. If I waited 14 years for this, I'd be pissed. Actually, no, most Alan Wake fans really like this game. I'm not sure about the ending, though, but, the, like, the main story is really good.
after 14 years, they're still willing to shit in your mouth saying, wait for the third one for any conclusion. <laughs> I'm st I, I, I can't wait for the third one, though. It's probably, it's probably a ways away, though, right? Because they're working on Control 2. Uh, they said they've got other projects going on, so it's probably going to take a while. Additional voices. Get me in on this. NP NPC heads. Body double. Body double for Ilka Vili was also someone named Ilka. <laughs> Our dancers in Nightless Night. Look at all these Finnish names. I cannot pronounce these names. <laughs> is just for you. Thank you. <laughs> just for me, the After player. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake. A dark ocean with... with Echoes of myself. Dark ocean my, summoning. My, my fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light. Your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you. So that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension. Light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see. The light you need to see. Until you're ready. Ellen. I think we're getting close. <gasps> Hi! It's not a loop. It's a spiral. So that's just saying, play the game again, then you get the real ending. <laughs> that's what that is. Play the game again, then you play, then you get an actual ending out of it. <laughs> I forgot about that mid credit scene. Okay, yeah, that does show like she knew what was up. Like after Shinmu 3, I learned if you have a long wait between sequels, you better have a conclusion. Never know if you're getting a sequel. Shenmu surely is. Mm -mm. Like, write the ending in a way that could end in a good way. But just open ended enough to the point you probably could continue it if you wanted to. Yeah, that's Alan Wake too! Oh, this is playing who's on to raid. Truth takes root in the 
Wham B is live. Do you want to like go over there and be like, we finished Alan Wake 2, time for Outlast? <laughs> Wait, I write, up a, I write up a message. A raid message. Here is the raid message. <laughs> oh my god, he's got such a stupid <laughs> He's got such a stupid stream <laughs> stream title. <laughs> there we go. Copy paste that, lads. Playing his ditty, straight up popping it, and by it, well, haha, let's just say my penis. <laughs> Damn it, Wham. Alright, <laughs> off we go. I think after this credits, anyway, it just goes back to like the main menu. <laughs> so, next stream is tomorrow, and hopefully, it is Outlast. Start raid! <laughs> when Bam Shibob's content is intended for certain audiences. I guess. <laughs> raid, damn it! <laughs> yeah, tomorrow is Outlast. And the day after is Alan Wake 2 DLC. Night Springs time, baby. Let's go. <laughs> and thanks for streaming. Thank you so much, Kate. Have a good night. See you, Retro. Thank you, thank you. Thanks so much, everyone, for stopping by. I feel like this was a really long stream. It felt like it was long. We got through a lot of this game, I think, in one go. But yeah, DLC on Friday. I'm so excited. Finally. And we got to start like new stuff next week. We've got to start a new game. I got to decide what to do. But yeah. Go say hi to Wham. Don't be <laughs> Thanks for the stream. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, thank you. Later, cake. Bye. And cop copy paste the raid message. Spam it. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone.